Here we are in beautiful metropolitan, cosmopolitan Amsterdam, home of 750,000 residents, 500,000 bikes, a whole bunch of boats, and a really amazing open air market. We're gonna to go to the open air market and see what Amsterdammers shop for in their spare time and also just to make their daily meals. It's a really wonderful place. I think there's amazing expression of culture here. Culture like really nowhere else. There's a pretty vigorous import-export market here in Amsterdam, keeping with tradition because it is a city of trade, but it's also a city of amazingly diverse culture. So we saw a lot of this in play at the market. You know, it's important because we talk about um, local, local and sustainable, but sometimes that doesn't apply necessarily to something like fish. When you look at fisheries, what we really need to do is find healthful fisheries that have opportunities to reproduce at a good rate and are also are being fished in a way that allows the species to recover. Sometimes that's worth the fossil fuel transport to be able to have that fish protein and it's really interesting to find in Amsterdam Alaskan King Salmon. Cool. Perhaps the most sustainable fish of all are mackerel, sardines, and anchovies and here they are. Amazing. There's a lot going on in Amsterdam that, that shows that they're serious about sustainability. For one, uh, you see this sensibility to supporting local craft. I mean, the flower markets are a huge example. Same thing with the fresh fruits and vegetables. They really have a diverse set of agriculture. They have a huge greenhouse system here that's just remarkable. So they're growing and serving and selling local food year round. It's really a great example for many other cities to follow. I think some mushrooms, I think some garlic, I think some artichokes. <laughs> Look at these globe artichokes, they're gorgeous, huh? This is the real deal. Oh. Awesome, thank you. Very good, excellent. It's marinated herring with his homemade pickles, a little bit of raw onion. This is a snack, this is snack food in Amsterdam, delicious. Mm. These are mostly conventionally raised birds, you can tell by the size of them. The ones with the tan flesh have been fed less corn, so they're more likely to be closer to a naturally raised chicken. One of the things you want to look for when you're shopping for chicken anywhere in the world is if it's really bright yellow, they're using basically Western export agriculture and a high volume of corn in the feed. When it's not as yellow and it's more bright, you can almost see side by side over here, you have yellow legs and thighs and then you have white legs and thighs. And the, the, the chicken that has more the flesh tone uh, to the skin is more naturally fed, generally speaking. If you come back in October, then it's trans, the season of the wild. Yeah. All here, there, everything there is on the world, we have here. It's like an English breakfast, but no sausages, no tomatoes. Very important. So open markets are really phenomenal. When they're done like they were done, like the market here in Amsterdam, where they really express the culture of this amazing city, it's a win-win for everybody. Definitely worth the visit.